What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you've read a title, today we will be doing the complete progression guide for arguably the most difficult and boring skill in all of Hypixel Skyblock. Of course, you've already guessed, the skill is foraging. Foraging is overall just a really slow and repetitive and also competitive skill. Today I'll be going over the complete progression for your gear for foraging and pretty much everything you need to know about foraging at the current state of the game. Of course, you may also note that there is going to be a foraging update coming out somewhere, sometime. We have no idea when that's going to come out and it's, if it's going to be before the Blazing Fortress or after. Depending on that, that's a big difference because there's probably going to be a new update somewhere in the near future. But if that update is not the forging update, then it's going to be probably a few months before the forging update comes out. So I kept you guys waiting long enough. Let's get right into the video. And I'll pretty much be going over what gear you should be using in the early, the mid, and I guess you can right skip right to the end game for foraging. So let us start our progression guide starting with early game foraging. In the early game, what you will want to get in terms of tools is going to be a golden axe. A golden axe with efficiency 5, of course, is going to be a really good weapon because in Hypixel Skyblock, of course, you don't have the durability, so golden tools are just really good. Additionally, a lot of people talk about how, oh, you can't use haste in the hub. I don't know if the admins patched this or not, but... So when I was preparing for this video, I tested it and it does seem like haste is working. I'm no expert in this, but I'm pretty sure haste is working here. It might be because I'm using a god pod, but in terms of what I did, I tried changing lobbies and everything. Haste does seem to work in the hub now. So if a lot of people don't know, you may now know. And a lot of people just don't come here because they think that haste does not work. But now that haste does work, it's a really good strategy to come forage here. You can go and get this. And if you don't have a god pot, you can go and get yourself a uh, haste pot. I also recommend using a foraging XP pot. But I do really recommend getting a god pot because you are getting that added speed. As you can see, I'm moving way faster than if I wasn't using a god pot. You get that added speed. You get that added uh, foraging XP. And you also get that haste. So I do heavily recommend using a god pot if you want to forage, especially foraging for XP. In terms of armor for early game, it doesn't really matter. Just use anything you want. Just go forage. It doesn't actually really matter. And let's now move on to mid game foraging. In terms of mid game foraging, there will now be an armor set you need to wear, which is going to be young dragon armor. And just a really good set because it gives you 100 more speed from your speed cap. So you can see I have now have 500 speed and just a really good set for speed and foraging. Additionally, you will want to get not only your golden axe, but now also a jungle axe. Now especially, I do heavily recommend getting a god pot, but once again, you can use other pots as well, but the god pot is just so good. Essentially, what you're going to be wanting to do is go in any like, area you really want to, and you're going to go boom, use the ability of the jungle axe, but because that thing has a cooldown, you go break a log and you just swap to the golden axe and break until the cooldown is off and you swap again. That's how you forage at the maximum efficiency without the final tool, just tree cap, of course. Then you can go here, as you can see, I'm breaking this and I can just clear out the remaining things with the golden axe until the cooldown comes off. And I can do this and I can clear stuff with the golden axe until the cooldown comes off. And essentially, you just chain that and you keep going and you use that new added speed you get from the young dragon armor. And that is going to be your set. Once again, no specific pet for mid game because all the foraging pets are kind of like late game because they are quite expensive. Additionally, do also note that this may now be the time for you to get a moil log. And essentially what a moil log does is it's going to give you more. Let me just, are there any moil logs? Let me just go and search them. Moil log. And essentially what a moil log does is it gives you more, uh, foraging XP. So you can see on a common, it's 1%, still 1%, and it's 2% on rare, 2% on epic, 3% on legendary, and 3% on mythic. So the Moil Log would just give you that extra little boost. It's really cheap. As you can see, it's like 50,000 coins. 
And if you want to go more to the like, actual gain of foraging XP, you can get, for example, Moil on your Jungle Axe or your Golden Axe. But I do recommend not doing that until you at least get a Tree Capitator. Now that we've seen the early and mid game uh, setups for foraging, let's go to the quote unquote late game setup for foraging. Essentially what you're going to be doing here now that you have a tree capitator that is essential, a tree capitator, you want to go to the dark thicket, the most competitive foraging area by the way, and that's why you need to speed once again. You're going to be using young dragon armor and you're going to be breaking these trees and the reason why the dark thicket is so important is because the tree cap has such a big like block breaking uh, power. I don't know how many blocks it is. It breaks a lot. I think it's like 25. And then these trees are like the only trees that are big enough to take all of the logs. So it will give you maximum efficiency to be foraging these uh, big dark oak trees. Of course, you should also get at least moil. But as you can see here, I have toil on my tree capitator. And it just gives you that extra 4% foraging XP. You don't absolutely need it. But of course, it is very useful. Once again, god pot, of course. But you also need to start looking at pets. The first pet I'm going to be recommending, especially if you're going to be using that tree capitator, is going to be the monkey pet. The monkey pet has a stat. Let me just quickly go in the highest so I can see level 100s. Here we go. The monkey pet has a stat that reduces the, uh, the jungle axe and tree capitator's ability by 50%. This essentially allows you to uh, just like pretty much spam jungle, uh, tree cap. You don't really need it for jungle, honestly, but like you can just spam tree cap and then like your cooldown will be so fast that you can just pretty much just spam to every tree and it will break. But as you can see, like if I go fast right now, if I go straight to this tree, it won't use the ability because it didn't come off cooldown. But if you had a monkey, it would. So in the late game foraging, I recommend simply getting a monkey and using that to go and pretty much just swap around and just farm foraging XP. Now moving on to quote unquote end game for foraging, we're going to be talking about um, so it's more strategic than actually gear wise. Once you're in the end game, you're still going to be using young. You're still going to be using that tree capitator, but you're going to be adding a little bit more equipment to your setup. You will need your monkey pet once again for that tree cap cooldown, but you will also need an ocelot. But you may be asking Vintus. If I also get an ocelot, I can only use one. Why would I get both? The ocelot, by the way, gives you 30% more foraging XP. But the reason why you want to get both is because you can then use some strategy. Let me just get a random fishing rod. This one, fishing rod. You can then use some auto pet strategies, which allows you to swap between pets. There is an auto pet where when, once you cast a rod, you will gain a... Uh, uh, equip a pet for example you see i cast my rob and equip my ammonite and then once you go to here and you break the tree it should say that it will equip your ocelot when you gain like a for example dark oak collection so what you're going to be doing is you run around the map you break with this with the ocelot you do this to equip the monkey and the monkey will pretty much just cancel out the cooldown of the tree cap and you can once again break and you'll equip the ocelot and you'll get the ocelot's boost when you get the XP from the wood. And then you just do this again and you just go and break the trees again. I'm not an absolute expert in this. I've only done this very little. But it's overall just a good strategy. You go boom and then boom. And like that, you just swap between the two pets. And like that, you'll be getting 30% more XP than if you were doing it without the ocelot. Because you're pretty much just getting the full power of the ocelot. But you're also getting the power of the... Uh, monkey that's pretty much it in terms of gear once again young tree cap now you definitely need to get toil on your tree cap a fishing rod any fishing rod can do you don't need a rod of the sea any fishing rod and the two pets and some auto pet rules well overall guys that is pretty much it for this progression guide for foraging i do want to note that i am not exactly like an ultimate expert in foraging i just is just all the information i've gathered from a lot of research and also some personal experience and overall, foraging is just such a simple skill right now. It really needs a lot of development, but the admins have hinted that it's going to be a big change. But if there's going to big, be a big change, you may be saying, oh, I don't need to do foraging. I can wait till the foraging update. However, the foraging update might bring a lot of stuff where that can actually make you a lot of money. 
and the people with the most foraging fortune were going to be the ones who are making the most money and you get foraging fortune of course from your foraging level so i do recommend leveling up your foraging to a certain level at least because it will really benefit you when this update does come out of course once again to recap everything your axe your weapons progression is going to be golden axe jungle axe and then toil tree capitator or tree capitator and your armor is simply going to be no armor and then or like any armor and then young dragon armor your pets are going to be no pets or any pet you want to level up and then monkey and then ocelot and monkey your island progression is going to be the oak area in the hub than any of the other areas in the in the forest or yeah the park <laughs> sorry the park and then finally the dark thicket that is pretty much the whole entire progression i hope you guys enjoyed also i wanted to thank Ita boy for lending me his tree capitator it's i don't have a tree cap right now so he lent me his nice toil tree capitator so i want to thank him that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like and subscribe and also make sure to join my discord server for giveaways but that's pretty much it guys, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next one.